Hello students. Last class we have started with the word problems and we have finished A, B and C. Isn't it? So today we will do D and E. Okay. So let's start number D. So number D, let's read the question. Pulkit read six pages of a story book on Monday. Seven pages on Tuesday. And five pages on Wednesday. How many pages did he read in all? So now see here, we will see the first part of the question. The first part of the question is, Pulkit read six pages of a story book on Monday. That means Pulkit has already finished reading six pages. So the statement you will write like this. Number of pages read on Monday. So how many pages on Monday? It was six pages. So right here six pages. So let's go to the second part. Seven pages on Tuesday. So seven pages on Tuesday. Statement. Number of pages read on Tuesday is equal to. So how many pages it is? Seven pages. So let's write seven pages. Third part, 5 pages on Wednesday. So, 5 pages on Wednesday. So, you will write number of pages read on Wednesday is equal to 5 pages. Now, the last part of the question how many pages did he read in all? So, you have to find the total number of pages. So, you will write like this. Therefore, total number of pages read by Pulkit altogether is equal to, first you will write 6 pages, 6 pages, next is 7 pages, 7 pages and the last one is 5 pages, 5 pages. Okay, so you have to do addition. Okay, you have to do addition. Now students, do you remember you already know about the vertical method. Yes. So, you will use the vertical method of addition out here. So, first you will add 6 and 7. Then whatever answer you get, that you will again add with 5. So, let's use the vertical method here. Alright students. So, let's add 6 and 7. How much is 6 plus 7? 6 plus 7 is 13. Okay. 6 plus 7 is 13. Then again, 13 plus 5. 13 plus 5, how much it is? 13 plus 5 is 18. So, you will write 18. It is 18 pages. 18 pages. So, therefore, your answer will be 18 pages. So, we are done with number D. So, next is question number E. Let's do it. So, here is the question. During summer vacation, Tanya stayed at her grandmother's house for 8 days. 
at her uncle's house for seven days and at her friend's house for four days. For how many days in all was she away from her home? So this is a long question but don't worry you read it part by part and let's try to solve it. So first let's read the first part of the question. During summer vacation Tanya stayed at her grandmother's house for 8 days. That means this is the first part of the question. So, Tanya stayed at her grandmother's house for how many days? 8 days. So, statement you will write. Number of days spent in grandmother's house is equal to 8 days. Then, next part. At her uncle's house for 7 days. Uncle's house is for 7 days. So, number of days spent in uncle's house is equal to 7 days. The next part. And at her friend's house for 4 days. So, friend's house how many days? It is 4 days. So, statement you will write. Number of days spent in friend's house is equal to 4 days. So, and the last part is, for how many days in all was she away from her home? That means again you have to add all the days. So, write like this. Total number of days spent by Tanya away from home is equal to 8 days. Plus 7 days. And the last one is plus 4 days. So here again you have to use the vertical method of addition. So let's use that. So according to the vertical method of addition, you have to add 8 plus 7. First, you have to add 8 plus 7. After that, plus 4. So, let's add 8 and 7. 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. Okay. 8 plus 7 is 15. Then again, 15 plus 4. How much is 15 plus 4? 15 plus 4 is 19. So, let's write 19. And here, Days. 19 days. And your answer here will be 19 days. So, we are done with all the word problems. So, this way you have to do it. Alright students. So, students we have completed the word problems. So, word problems are not tough. Don't panic. You have to read the question properly and then understand it and then solve it. Alright students? So, keep practicing. Till then, see you. Thank you.